what Jasper does when he doesn't want you to move him. But I'm going to get up now. I have to go party. this a crossover episode <laughs> they have each other now and i'm alone i'm alone nobody care me bruiser and jasper cute as little friends cute as little friends cute as little friends oh jasper is bruiser your friend oh is bruiser your friend bruiser is jasper your friend he's too deaf to do the head turn <laughs> jasper's still up there it. I just sent my sister a video of them and she said, Bruiser collab? <laughs> Are you guys doing a collaboration? Are you guys linking and building? This is my impression of me when the guy I like texts me back. You can't see it because it's all going on inside, but they're screaming and jumping and dancing and spinning in my head and I'm doing it, but it's all in my head. So it's still an impression, but that's the impression of my external world and my internalized world is what's having the reaction. So not a very good impression. Is it? This is my impression of me when I'm wearing my grandpa's extra large Nirvana t-shirt and it makes me look like I'm wearing no pants. And I think Jasper ran away because I am <laughs> paranoid and I'm walking around the freaking neighborhood barefoot, basically pantsless, screaming his name. And then I walk back into the house after giving up and he's just sitting there in the house. Like he probably was the entire time. How old are you? 17. How long have you been 17? Okay, Jasper's a natural born actor, and I just don't know about Bruiser. Bruiser's literally 17. I don't think he can do it. He can't teach an old dog new tricks. <laughs> I've been thinking about how, like, they let the rich people have lip fillers first when it cost more money, and then they, like, cheapened it, and then, like, they let like middle class and kind of the poorest have at lip fillers for a while. And then they started, lip plumpers went crazy. Like I know plumping lip glosses have been around for a hot minute. Like I had them like as a child, but like you go into Ulta now and it's like you can't find a lip gloss that isn't trying to tingle and plump up your lips. Like, or like advertise fuller lips. Like it's so crazy. And it's just like weird that that wasn't how it was during like the Kylie days and it's like latent. I don't know. I've been thinking about that and thinking about how it's like they're letting the pores have it late. I don't know. And I'm not saying anything bad about the pores. They do not, I, you know, if you don't get what I'm saying, it's fine and you're stupid. But I've been thinking about that and I've been thinking about preventative Botox a lot. And thinking about how I am so self-conscious over my forehead wrinkles already. <laughs> like, I hate that. And I'm already thinking about Botox at 23. I already have gotten Botox, but it's for medical reasons for my jaw. So, um... Anyways, like, I'm like, am I seriously thinking about getting Botox right now? I think I just need to go get microneedled a few sessions and then I'll feel better. But, like, my forehead's feeling... I, it's ever since in Bali when I got that last batch of Botox in Bali. And she said that I should get it in my forehead. And, like, I knew that she was either just upselling me or being mean or there was a language barrier or all of them. Well, and she was also just saying, like, that she was like, it's not, um, it's, I don't even want to talk about it. I don't even want to talk about it anymore. I thought I wanted to talk about it. I don't anymore. Okay, I'm back for one more thing. The other thing that I've been thinking about in relation to this is how, like, 
natural beauty has and always will be like a trend and a thing that people like want and like a desired thing right like to look natural but still look beautiful but they can't sell you actual like natural beauty like because then there would be no product if you're actually being natural so they have to like be like this looks natural but you don't see your acne anymore which is actually natural or like you don't see your lines and your bags and your wrinkles and all this stuff that is natural or like you shape your face into an unnatural way. Do you know what I mean? And it's fine. I'm fine with makeup. I'm not anti-makeup. I've worn makeup. But it's just like... The industry. That's what I'm talking about. But you can be choice feminist if you want. And my freaking call for men is choice feminist. Sound off. But anyway... I've just been thinking about how natural beauty will always be a trend, but also will never be a trend. <laughs> or I guess will like always be the goal or the desire or whatever, but will never be a trend or never be what's sold to you. You get what I'm saying? Or you don't. I don't fucking care. You know, people are always like, your vlogs don't make sense to me. It's because I don't want to be like, hey guys, um, so this is what we're doing this week. We're, we're dog sitting Jasper. That's why I'm in this house. We're at my grandparents' house because we're house sitting and dog sitting while they're in Italy. And then I'll go back up to the cabin. But for now, um, let's dog sit the dog and then show you a freaking montage of me filling up his freaking bowls. I don't want to take him on a walk. I don't want to be that kind of vlogger. I just want to tell you my thoughts, okay? And if you don't understand my thoughts, I really don't fucking care. I'm just releasing. I lost my mind. He's somewhere out there stranded. <laughs> I think he's dead under me. If you don't understand me, I had my heart broken by this woman named Tammy. The host's gonna be host. So I couldn't blame Tammy. Ah, he hit me. He really got me there. I was really trying to get caught in him. I've been ringing him. <laughs> What do you guys think about the fit? I feel like I'm actually looking really beautiful for someone who hasn't washed their hair in 10 days. He has a metal Look at his crazy hair. hair. He bleeds out in the waiting room because the doctors are too busy trying to shove two meatballs in my scrotum and cake batter back in my penis. Oh, that's his butt. There you are. I didn't know which way you were.